now we about to pull up on Why you diss me for the It's just moving straight up in the street. <laughs> It's Sahara since today we are doing this beautiful blue. I'm the what's <laughs> what's up guys? Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new. It's Sahara. So today we are doing this beautiful purple lavender lilac type of look. I'm not into purples, but you know, I had to bring out my lavender lilac moments because I'm starting to get into these types of purple tones. For my nails, tried to match them with this nail polish I got from Kiss. It is the gel shine nail polish in the shade. DTGNP05 <laughs> got it at the Dollar Tree but so pretty it's more like a blue tone purple we're also going to be mentioning perfume I have two perfumes here today so you can you know check these out down below I'll also leave links to any of the perfumes that I mentioned in these previous videos because I'm also going to be leaving a link down to my Rakuten account as well the um, link so if you sign up which please use that link because they are doing it up on, <laughs> on Rakuten right now if you use my link and you sign up when you purchase something $30 and over you get $30 back I get $30 and then of course you know you earn money based on whatever you um, bought as well so Rakuten is a really good site so you know use that link to go through and buy these wherever you want to buy them at Sephora Ulta I think they have them at both stores but anyway let's get started on this video for eyeshadow primer I'm just going to use this Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 220 I feel like I have hair somewhere around here because I put my I put my bangs off to the side. I feel like I got hair right here. I got a lot of hair on my face because I forgot to shave my face. But like I said, I'm gonna try not to shave like right before I sit down to film because I'm <laughs> ending up slicing and dicing my eyebrows. I do have these little mini sponges that I got from the Dollar Tree. I think one of these purple sponges is from Elf. I think I see which one it is. I think this this one right here may be from the Dollar Tree and this bigger one is from elf oh that actually matches really good let's go with this but then again this is really soft i let me go on with this one because this one is like this one is like a purple pink i don't know i'm trying to match today if i got it i would use it loose setting powder right here fit me light medium 20. i'm gonna focus most of the setting on the outer part because i'm gonna cut the crease Maybe, maybe not. I probably won't. I might just spray my brush. I am limiting myself to using only one eyeshadow palette. And I think we could do it because I think all the shades that I need are in this palette. This was the one that I reviewed from um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Can't remember which one at this point. This is the Lady Bouquet 25 color eyeshadow palette by Romantic Beauty Professional Makeup. But look at those different shades of purple. We have two mattes, one shimmer, one glitter. Oh no, three mattes. One shimmer, one glitter. Fuchsia, which is this deepest one. What I'm going to do is tap into some of the black too. Mix it in so that that shade applies a little bit deeper. So you can see like, not a change or a variety, but you could see like a variation between the shades. I think that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> see, applying that right on the outer part. I think I need some like more eyeshadow brushes. Or and I'm going to take a different brush and go in with that shade that's right above it called Flamingo. So I used fuchsia first mixed in with starry night and now i'm going in with flamingo because it's a little bit lighter lavender which is that pale shade blend around the outer part so then just going back in with the same brushes in the eyeshadows to reinforce them. This shade called Ultraviolet, and just apply that on the lid. Okay, like it's really stuck. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to get like a spray. This is CoverGirl Outlast Active Spray. It's kind of like a very creamy shadow. Yeah, it just needs some pick me up. <laughs> Royal Gem which is that pretty glitter. We're gonna use every purple in this palette and apply it right in here like I did the other one. A lot of times just blending it right in here where you can sandwich it between the outer part and the um, lid kind of gives it a better blend. I'm just gonna go back in with a combination of the shade Future, Future, Fuchsia and Starry Night, which is the deepest shade and blend it back right here. 
Oh my gosh, only the eyes and look at how many brushes I used already. For mascara, I have the Snapscara by Maybelline. In the shade Black Cherry, which is a purple. But it doesn't really translate on the eyes as like a true purple because it's too deep, but we're gonna use this anyway. The Ioni Lashes in a shade, in a shade, style Hollywood Wispy Cat Eye medium and then i also have these dollar tree case with kiss lashes in a style gala and then some morphe lashes i'm gonna go off camera figure these lashes out then i'll tell you guys which ones i used <laughs> I double stack them, like I said in my last video, when you don't feel like the lashes you are applying are enough, double stack. The Ioni Wispy Cat Eye Medium. These were nice, but for a look like this, sometimes you wouldn't go a little bit bolder, but you know, these would have been a little too much because they're like really thick and fluffy. So then I went in with the thinnest but longest lashes from Morphe and I double stacked on top of them using the Ioni 2-in-1 Lash Glue Liner. I need some more because I think I'm starting to run out of it. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I purchased a few things from, well, a few, child, I purchased a lot, from Timu, waiting on that stuff to come in because I got like two or three holes for you guys. <laughs> I went back to using Rakuten because I used to always hear some of the YouTubers talking about use the money back, the cash back, and right now, they are having 12% extra money back on Timu. Also, if you use my referral link, which I will have that link down below, if you're brand new to the site and you spend about $30, you get $30 back and also I get $30 as well if you spend the $30 you after you sign up through my link so you know hop on that now they do have other brands they have like Shein and all of that stuff and I'll mention it again when I do my Timu videos as well so you guys can remember if you did not sign up for foundation we are going to go in with the elf camel cc cream now i have not been using this on its own because this is not the right shade in a shade medium 330w it's a little bit lighter and usually i mix it with my tinted moisturizer black radiance since i got that one too dark <laughs> beauty puffs from the dollar tree i went ahead and wet it you can see the difference of how big it gets so i'm gonna use this i tell you guys it's been so hard not buying new makeup because there has been so many new makeup releases let's talk about summary quick for a minute kkw kim kardashian's line like her previous line where she had all the lip liners and i was saying that the lip liner in a shade new too that i have been wanting waiting for her to you know bring her line back to restock she had the nerves to, to launch a whole new other line called Skin by Kim. You know, dropping the KKW because obviously she's not married to Kanye anymore. But she revamped the whole line. <laughs> and the products don't even look the same. The tones look aesthetically pleasing, but it looks cheap. <laughs> okay, like the packaging looks like cardboard. The lip liners look like pencils her other lip liner so creamy so pigmented the shade was just perfect now obviously i don't know about the shades in this new line and i won't know about the shades because i'm not going to pick anything up it just looks like a downgrade from her previous line but obviously you know that's not where her mind is at i knew that because it took her so long to come back out with her line even though she changed it it just wasn't going to be the same like she wasn't going to come out with what she did before now i'm going to have to find another brand that has a lip liner similar to that i do not like this elf cc camel camel cc product like i still don't like it even when i reviewed it before i was saying how i don't like how it sits on the skin yeah i still stand by that it's texture enhancing it looks cakey and then i just dropped my sponge <laughs> hella dirty there's the elf hydrating camel concealer in a shade at medium sand now i actually do like this camel concealer they came out with a new camel blush and of course they have their matte camel formula for the concealer which i did not like some more brands that i've seen had some few new more releases what did i just say i can't even think straight like milk makeups had a few new releases juvia's place as well i see they have a new skin enhancing booster that's supposed to be like a 
a dupe for the elf one and the charlotte tilbury one i don't know if i'm gonna buy that but i also seen that they had a new setting spray so i'm thinking about getting this setting spray but i'm like trying to you know use my makeup products before i start buying new ones because i have been doing a good job going through my makeup because like i mentioned before i'm always like throwing it away expired before it's even used up and of course i did a project pan a couple of months ago i've been getting down on them pans <laughs> i'm gonna go in with the Vanessa myricks beauty balm in the shade medium three on the face elf putty bronzer in the shade honey drip on a nose and i also like desperately need a new makeup brush holder because the one that i use um dang much more darker and pigmented since i'm using this foundation that's a little bit too light i make a brush a holder that's for like your stationary stuff your tools that you'll use you know that you buy pencils and all that stuff i use it for my makeup brushes i'll show it anyway the one that spins around and i have different sections now i like that it's sectioned off but it's still hard to reach for my brushes because I have so many brushes and it's also can't even touch my face because I have foundation on. Hold on. Let me take back to it. <laughs> a dust. It's collecting a lot of dust. It's just it's no bueno. I was on Shein, Timu looking for that stuff. They have some good ones, but it's like the ones that they had, they kind of like don't hold a lot. So then you have to get a couple of cases and I don't want like a bunch of different cases. I like that that's like one whole case holding my stuff. So then you have to see what you're really with, willing to compromise. <laughs> Bought that down way too far, but it's okay. The powder will help. Back in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder to set under the eyes. And then About Face just released a new foundation. It's like we need to send her off to jail like Christina. Huh? <laughs> then I started talking on the phone, so let's just do this in a voiceover. For the nose contour, of course, again, the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Then to set over the face, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Powder Foundation in the shade Havana Medium 2 to set because this will bring that color back since this product is too light and also light in the contour since it was a little too harsh as well. For powder contour, we're going to go in with the Makeup Forever Pressed Powder Contour in the shade S116 and apply that on the face, on the cheeks, and um, on the nose as well, not the jawline. For blush, going to use this powder blush from Makeup Forever. This is like a cool tone pink. goes great with purple looks. For powder highlighter, going to go in with the KKW Tempting Highlighter. I haven't used this one in a while, and it actually fell on the floor yesterday when I opened it up, so I had to use E6000 glue to let it sit and get stuck back together overnight, but it's a really pretty highlighter. Great for cool tone looks as well. I have had to hop on the phone for eyeliner. I have two right here the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Vivid, LA Colors Lovely Lavender in the shade Lovely Lavender, LA Colors. The deeper one on the outer part and the brighter one in the inner part since I'm already going to go in with that bright shade in the inner corner. Oh my God, I need to sharpen this. Hold on a sec. Dang. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see like the difference between like the light tone and the purple and the deep one. Did a combination of both and I think it looks really good together. The lightest tone right here, just to kind of tap that right here. The deepest one and tap that on the outer part. Purples in this palette are a little bit more pink toned. For mascara, going back in with the Snap Mascara. Let's go in with the ABH eyeshadow primer. This is a ooh, shake it up right quick. It's been sitting, basically like a white eyeshadow primer. Going in with the shade lavender. Honestly, not coming off as bright as I want it to in the inner corner. It is what it is. We're just gonna keep it anyway. It's like, <laughs> can these shades ever work out for me the way I need them to? Let's go in with Jaclyn Hills lip liner in the shade Bourbon. It's a cool tone. Elf. It's like a lipstick primer. Like I called it before, a lightener brightener. <laughs> Then let's try this from LA Colors in the shade Teddy. It's that one that I didn't like. 
and I still don't. <laughs> I do have these lip products right here. I have the Juvia's Place Nubian Nude Mauve Cool Tone. That may be a little too deep. She Glam Willy Wonka in the shade Cookies and Cream. That's more like a pink. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Is that other Fenty gloss that I have? No, that's not it either. I do have a clear, but I don't know if I want to do clear. Cookies and cream. That seems like a nice blend. The one thing about doing like purple looks is you never know what lip combo can go good. I think if I had like a lip gloss that was a little bit lighter, then it would be perfect. Did I just accidentally underline my lips? Yes, I did. <laughs> and then purposely overline my lips. Did that too. <laughs> Sometimes like when you try to do the lip liner over the lip gloss, it just does not work. Okay, so this is the completed look. I kind of like how my hair looks. I'm not gonna re-curl it because I curled it the other day and I don't like to curl it too much. Messy bangs, tussled curl, like it's a vibe, it's a look. Of course, we gotta talk about the perfume. I actually have them over here. We have the Gucci Flora, purple, duh. And then we have Versace Dylan Purple. These both smell really good, but if I had to choose either or, I would recommend Versace one. Versace stuff always smells the best. These don't have like, especially this one doesn't have like a, a floral scent, like you know the average floral. It's a little different. Of course, I can't explain scents, so you have to go in the store and check. But like I said, if I was to recommend both, especially for the springtime, I prefer Versace Dylan. But if you want longevity, then I would prefer the Gucci Flora because the Gucci Flora lasts longer. What happens if you spray these? And then like, mm, it smells so good. And by the way, this shirt is the shirt that I got from Shein, the ribbed one, and then it has like the triangular shape. So I will show you guys in the video. I really like it. It's tight though. While I was off camera letting my camera charge, I just went ahead and added my beauty marks because the acne is coming through. <laughs> that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!